my money. I'll start praying all the time. Okay. Okay. It is Tuesday, May 17, 2016. Let's call the meeting to order. Uh, minutes and reports received and filed. Uh, Commissioner Committee Liaison Reports, Upcoming Meetings and Events. Board of Realtors meeting tomorrow, Political and Economic Responsibility Committee meeting today. Uh, Chamber Barbecues Thursday, 4-H Gun Shoot Saturday, so all you little shooters out there think you can outshoot me, bring it on, suckers. <laughs> Could probably use some EMS out there too. So we can shoot something. you or? <laughs> no, we're going to tase you. Just better be better shot. Because I shoot back. <laughs> we got a couple ex wives. I ain't scared of a lot. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah. We're starting early today. <laughs> I got an EV meeting at the chamber tomorrow. And that's all I have. I got cap region board meeting tonight, uh, home savings bank board meeting tomorrow, chamber barbecue, it's also my wedding anniversary Thursday, mm -hmm. like that. Oh, uh, Friday, card, yeah, I'll be in charge, a Saturday is uh, right over that, don't you? Dr. Don Clay Combs retirement dinner at the Missouri State Technical College, Friday, I won't be here, but buy peanuts from the Lions Club, please, I'll be here, buy from you. I won't be here, I'll be in charge. What are you thinking off for? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, appointments by Commission, Mid-Missouri Solid Waste Management District Council appointment. Do you have that, Mr. Yeah, we just need signatures. Uh, I'll be on that board. Might let Mark Lubert know <laughs> he got nominated again. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask him. I mean, I was going to ask him. But he went to the council Solid meeting the other night, too. Yeah. We got to point both of you. Yeah, he's the backup. <laughs> I make him go to the council meeting Tuesday. That's once a year. So are you both members, or is he your? He's just my backup for the board. Okay. Now we can both go to the council meeting because we have two votes on that. But usually one of us gets that. So we're just naming you to the board, then. Both of us. Both. Both to the council. I think is how that works. I move that we want Jeff Elsher and Mark Libring to the Midland of Solid Voice District Council. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Unless you're wanting to do it. Solid okay. Waste is it? Now we have all these, these great Out of people. My alley. We have all these great people here. It is National Emergency Medical yeah. Services Week. What about? Who wants to come up and receive a resolution proclamation from the Cole County Commission? Do you want me to read all this? We got time. Yeah. Or? Yeah, read it. Read it. Whereas emergency medical services is a vital public service, and whereas the members of emergency medical services teams, including Cole County EMS, are ready to provide life-saving care to those in need 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and whereas Access to quality emergency care dramatically improves the survival and recovery rate of those who experience sudden illness or injury. And whereas the emergency medical services system consists of first responders, emergency medical technicians, paramedics, emergency medical dispatchers, firefighters, law enforcement officers, emergency nurses, emergency physicians, trained members of the public, and other uh, out of cat hospital medical care providers. I'm gonna skip whereas, therefore, the Cole County Commission in recognition of this event does hereby proclaim the week of May 15th through 21st, 2016 as Emergency Medical Services Week and encourage the community to observe this week with appropriate program ceremonies and activities. Yeah, make that all I skipped. Him. I skipped a couple. Yeah, Where you got your readers on? Thank all you guys. Yeah, thank all you Thank you, Kevin. 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 Thank you,
and then FEMA will get the final approval. So we're now at the stage where we're asking people to look things over, put in any, any comments, last comments, and then asking the governing bodies to uh, adopt the plan. If you don't accomplish what is stated in the mitigation strategy and these actions for the next five years, there's no penalty. This is just kind of laying out what we think needs to happen in our county, you know, to mitigate hazards that we identify in the plan. And I might say all of our county uh, uh, department, probably more everyone was involved in that, uh, same with the city. They're planning their public works, their city folks as well as I mentioned all of our other communities. So very good turnout. Our water districts uh, were there. So I think we had overall a very good uh, combination. Our school systems were there, uh, Lincoln, uh, Jet City Public School, uh, Eugene, Russellville. So all of them were involved in this. So uh, a big hats off to all the people that helped with that. So now we've got that done, I'm going to leave a copy of this resolution, and that's something that the commission would need to do. I don't know if you want to look at it or it's just a kind of a blank copy thing that we could put at some other date, not today, but uh, that's all we'll need to do. Once the commission does the resolution, we'll take that to the other communities and they can do their own re resolution for each community. And I can email a word document of that resolution when I read it or somebody. Yeah. Just get it made all. Okay. You know, and that way we can do the resolution at a, at a later date and uh, very simple it's something we did five years ago but what the mission kind of does their blessings over it and we we'll go to Jeff City and Lake Martin and Fort Bill House and do the same with all of them. Okay. Thank you. Thanks Susan. She's put a lot of work in this and she only has five days left so she's retiring so she got to do coke at the very last. My swan song. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to work part time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd like to clean my house actually. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks very much. much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. She's done a great job. And as just a, a side note, as we talked before when Ed was here with us, Ed's going to look at some grant funds that we can put together at County, continue the operation plan. I think it's very important for us to do. Okay, approval and signing the Show Me Healthy Women contract renewal from DHSS. Good morning. So this is just our annual contract renewal for the Show Me Healthy Women program, and that's the uh, program for those ladies that are ages 35 to 64 that don't have insurance coverage. They can um, go and get proper cancer screenings, and um, we pay for those, and then we're reimbursed by DHSS. So we all had insurance for Obama. They might have insurance, but they might not cover this. Or the deductible is too high. Obama lied. All right. Behave. I'm gonna get my rules. Kind of like Obama tried. Obama lied. Come up with a new song. Oh, <laughs> How about happy days are here?
total base cost is 84953 Public works recommendation is to add the one row of windows and the garage doors for additional light. So the contract amount would be $90,485.02. Um, I think they came and showed you the products they were using and you guys were good with that. So if you have any questions about that, um, otherwise the recommendation is for GDH builders. Do you have the bid tabs on that or? Yeah, you have the paper copy. Oh, Budget map board. What was our budget map board? 100,000. On them garage doors. I guess once we award it to whoever, they can use whoever they want to on the garage doors, or did we specify that whatever they submitted in the bid is what they have to use? Or can they shop around their bids? What do you mean it's actually for? Okay, if we go to GBH and they said we want to use ABC Door Company and this is who we're going to use, do they have to or can they go, okay, we're going to shop around this bid and get I think we're going to rain order. I think so. You can do that. Okay, I don't even care. I'm not going to mention any names, but if ABC Door Company is who bid it for them, do they specify who it's coming from, what kind of door it is, and then they can turn around and shop it if they want to. We don't have a lot of control over it. I know we ran into that over at the law enforcement center. Okay. Did they list their bidders on it? No, they both <coughs> went through the same. There's nothing in there saying they have to use the same one. They both went through. A, I don't even care if they use the same one, but if they submit a bid and they said these doors were 43,000 and we're using ABC Door Company, once we award the bid, ABC Company says, oh, cool, we're going to do these doors. So we've got it uh, awarded to us. Then come find out they've taken they shop the bid around and they go to XYZ door company and it just causes some butter so for some people. I wasn't aware of any scenario that would have that. It's not in the contract. I can put something like that in there. I'd there's say it probably happens nothing. A lot. I just had a phone call about it as well as asking. Yeah, there's currently nothing anywhere that says that they have to use the subcontractors that they've been with. And I don't know if we can make them do that. I was just asking if we have anything in there about it. No. So. That's why I told them I thought it was out of our hands once we awarded to them. They could, even if they used their bid to get their preliminary numbers, if they find a better deal, then I mean, that's what I would do. Too. But that basically, you're saying the subcontractors are not all lined out when they do the bid, they just have a number. Yeah, they're, they're, they, we did not ask them to look for subcontractors. In that that's fine, I'm just asking. But we, I mean, if you would like us to go back and have them add that. No, I just wanted to know how we did it. So. Usually if it's work, I have them listed, but if they're just getting, you know, which I guess they'd be doing the install too, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they did send this literature on the spray and then that they were using, but. Yeah, and there's different people that carry the different brands usually. I don't know, we've had some, on, some door problems over there at the jail too, so. It does kind of. Uh, we'll keep an eye on what they're actually going to use to make sure they're because those probably get open and closed a lot. The only ones would be mainly in the shop area. The other ones, uh, when we come to work at, in the wintertime, they're open in the morning and they don't close till most of the time. Those doors don't close until we uh, get down with the snow event. So, okay, not as much, but the shop doors are the ones that get open and shut a lot, especially in the wintertime. That section's heated back here. Very good. So Jeff's going to ask about the windows. I'm going to ask about everything else. Um, so the walkthrough doors, the downspouts, and the exterior paneling. Looks like we're bidding two different things. I mean, the prices are that far apart. Similar or equal to. So I'm going to ask them, they had to submit us a copy of what their actual proposal was for bid and then actually send us a piece of the okay. steel to give us an idea of what they were actually were looking at putting on. Okay. And this matches exactly what is on our building now. Okay. So I don't really see a problem with that part of it. Okay. I mean, it's, I mean the numbers are, are yeah, they really way, are. way they are. They're they're really are. So it looks like, looks like somebody missed something or... Well, it's, See, some somebody bid, bid to Butler, and it's kind of like the category John Deere. Uh, you pay a 
additional for the name.
So I was wondering if we could use those grant funds to pay for our lobby to be paid and perhaps put on a bigger chair rail because that's part of the problem is the chairs with that antimicrobial leather, they push up against the edge and then it, it's ripping the paint off mm -hmm. the wall. And the other, I would also like to use a small portion of that to pay for the promotional materials that we want to do outreach at the parades this year for our 100th anniversary. So I was just want to know if it was okay, if you guys thought it was okay to have Jennifer um, solicit some of this for the paint at the lobby. It would be nice to have a contract to do that like on a weekend while we're closed.
That's all I have. Anything else? Pursuant to Section 610-021 of the Revised Statutes, oh. Missouri, uh, move the commission goes into closed session to discuss following legal action, Section 610-021. Is it out? Roll call. Sam? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Chris? Yes. Yes. What do you have 